Come to this. The Lesotho film industry is making history. It's entered the Academy Awards for the very first time putting up the film. This is not a burial. It's a resurrection for an Oscar. It stars the late South African star Mary Twala. Well, to, of course, qualify the movie must be screened for seven days. And that screening begins this Friday and runs until the 4th of December. But for more on this, we're joined by the film's producer, Cade Pensacro, who joins us now for a conversation. Cade, good to have you. Good morning to you. I mean, this surely must be an exciting time for yourself, for the team, and everyone who's put up effort um, in bringing this film Alive. Take us through what the film is all about. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, it's a really surreal experience to have this happen for Lesotho. We're all exceedingly proud. And um, the film follows an 80 year old widow named Mantua, who's played by um, the Queen Mother, Mary Twala Mshongo. And um, she, the film starts with her receiving news that her last living family member has passed away in an accident. And so she decides that she would like to die, that she'd like to be buried um, with the rest of her family in the village cemetery. And so um, she makes plans for her own burial and sort of goes to sleep every night, hoping that she will pass peacefully in her sleep. However, she receives news from the village chief that the village is going to be forcibly resettled due to the construction of a new dam reservoir, which will not only result in the forced removal of the people of the village but also the desecration of the the cemetery the destruction of the village cemetery and so this ignites in her a sort of willingness to stay alive a little longer to fight this fight and that in turn ignites a spirit of collective resistance within her community. Yeah, you did mention there, Kate, that this is a proud moment for Lesotho and as you're speaking, Maybe. I was just attracted by, you know, the scenery behind in those visuals. I'm seeing those mountains. You definitely know those are, you know, the, 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 the kingdom uh, of Lesotho. Only the kingdom of Lesotho can provide those spectacular uh, mountains and visuals. I mean, what does this mean then for the country? yourself being put up there for an Academy Award? I mean, it's, I think you said it, it's, it's a historic moment, you know, and this is a, the first film ever made by a Lesotho filmmaker in Lesotho language, filmed in Lesotho, to ever be showcased internationally. Um, since premiering this year in January, we've won 20 international, sorry, 21 international awards. Wow. And we're now the the official submission for Lesotho for the Oscars and you know the the press are writing about us and saying that we're a strong contender so I mean this is a, a very small film it was made under exceptionally trying circumstances we were living in the mountains for five weeks limited access to water and electricity transporting my Mary on horseback to location transporting our equipment on donkeys mm. um, it was rough you know and we had really limited resources so for the for the film to be achieving everything that it is 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 I'm I'm a proud parent of oh. my film baby you know I, I can only imagine <laughs> Kate I can only imagine but you know what I, I, as I'm looking at the late Mammi Ritwalam Klongo spectacular such a vision I mean you literally stare at her when she of course is in character she reminds me of you know a time during her funeral service where her son Somisi said I've gained a strong ancestor and I feel like the African film industry has equally gained such a strong and sister, how was it like working with her as well as other, you know, talented names that I see as well in the visuals? Well, I get very emotional when I have to talk about Mary because I just, I adored her so much and she was one of the most extraordinary women that I've ever met, you know, um, never mind her, her acting gravitas and the fact that she's a, a cinematic gladiator just just to be around her was a privilege and she was the heart and soul of, of our film absolutely everyone loved her and she believed in us so much and to have someone of that weight believe in your vision and you know ride to, to location on a horse at 79 years old and live in the mountains with you it's 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 like a dream and I just um, I wish that she could be here to see all of this I know that she's here and in spirit, I often hear her, you know, cackling and chain smoking um, <laughs> in my mind. But uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, she's she's just magnificent, and I'm I'm extremely honoured to say that this is her her last Maddie. film, her yeah. swan song. You know, it's an amazing 
honor and privilege for us as the filmmakers and um, her her performance is astounding yeah and I can't yeah. wait to share it with with local audiences listen Kate we can't wait to view it and on behalf of everyone that's yet to see it want to thank you even for your timing your team's timing in making sure that this film is out it's produced it's written is also broadcast because we would have probably missed out on an opportunity to see my Miratwala in her beautiful element. So thank you so much for this movie and congratulations once more for this beautiful, beautiful recognition. Okay, Leboa, thank you. <laughs>